Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will try to understand the architecture of Azure Data Lake. So this is the architecture of Azure Data Lake and you see that we have a store which is nothing but the Azure Data Lake store and you can store practically unstructured data or semi-structured data or a structured data. Unstructured data is nothing but your of Twitter tweets or any other data which really does not have any structure and semi-structured data probably your uh, JSON data or XML data and structured data is nothing but your relational data and you note that the Azure Data Lake store is built on top of open source technology called Web HDFS. So you really have a really good interface to communicate with the data which is stored in your Data Lake store. And on top of Azure Data Lake Store, you have what is called an analytics, which I call the Azure Data Lake Analytics, ADLA. So you basically can run big data jobs in Azure Data Lake Analytics. You can run, for example, USQL job or a Spark job, or you can also provision Hadoop clusters, which is known as HD Insights. So here I would like to make a diff distinction between what is an analytic service and what is a cluster which is HD Insight. So analytic service is nothing but job as a service. Okay. So using HD Insight or Azure HD Insight is nothing but making use of something called as cluster as a service. So in cluster as a service you need to take care of the individual clusters. You need to maintain the clusters, you need to patch the clusters. So in addition to writing your own code to fetch big data, you basically need to do other stuff as well. Whereas in job as a service, you only worry about submitting the job. You only worry about the code that basically goes and does uh, aggregation, filtering and so on. So that's it, you really do not worry anything about the underlying VM. Okay. So in this video tutorial, what we will do is we will cover only analytic service or, or job as a service, which will be part of Azure Data Lake Analytics. We will not be talking anything about clusters. We will not be talking about anything uh, related to HD Insights in this video tutorial series. In the next video, we will talk about why we need to know Azure Data Lake or why we need to use Azure Data Lake if the existing tools are sufficient. Thank you.